Most people in life are trying to figure out how to make a life worth living or return with having. In order to do that, we have to be open to other people's feedback. Other people's feedback can sometimes be frank, sometimes be funny, sometimes can cause jealousy, come, sometimes can cause harm. But usually it's not typically meant to do that. But it happens. It's a part of the marvelous charm of receiving feedback. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what is and isn't real, but what is real for me may not be real for you. What is real for you may not be real for me. What is and isn't a concept of incestuous behavior might seem that way to me and other possibilities. But in life, we have only one God. And that God is the one that is waiting for you to pick up the phone, in essence, and talk to him. To talk to him, the glory for the Lord, in a way that makes sense to him. And if it does work out that something that I have said has moved you, I appreciate that. But at the same time, if you are moved by what you see, please go ahead and like what you can on my video network. I'm having a lot of hacking still. I'm having a lot of clipping of videos still. It's very problematic. It is very offending, offensive to people trying to hire me, and it impedes my livelihood. And for that alone, it's called harangment and harassment, and that means that people are up to no good. In America, we have rights to do things for our lives. When we choose not to do those things, we are making a choice towards something else that was probably not planned for us meaning the angels may or may not have to fix it for you because you chose against the willpower of God.